When setting up a new Patriot sprayer with AIM Command Flex, one of the first things that must be done is a system calibration. This video will demonstrate initial calibration of AIM Command Flex on a Case IH Viper 4 Plus. The first step in calibrating the system is to select the preferred language and read and accept all liability warnings. If you do not agree to the liability warnings, you will not be allowed to operate the system. Next, the Viper 4 Plus will detect a new hardware configuration. Touch OK to continue and name the new configuration. This is for your records and can be named anything. We suggest SPS Sprayer. Select Self-Propelled for the machine type. Next, a name will be given to the machine. Again, this can be anything. However, we suggest the model number of the machine. If the Viper 4 Plus will be moved between machines in a fleet, each will need its own unique name. For example, machine model number dash 1, 2, or 3. The next steps are to select the appropriate values for the machine on which the system is installed. Type should be applicator. Subtype will be sprayer. Manufacturer will be case. And then select your model from the drop down menu and touch OK. Doing so will display several boom configuration options. Do not select your boom from this screen. Leaving all of these boxes unchecked, touch OK. From the general information page, touch the blue arrow in the top right of the screen. This will display preloaded machine measurements and must be verified to ensure system accuracy. Touch the blue arrow again to display the equipment page. Here you will see a blue box containing a plus sign. The boom configuration will be added at a later time on this page. Touch the green arrow in the top right corner to continue. Next, AIM Command Flex must be configured through the Virtual Terminal, or VT. Touch the VT area of the screen. This displays the Configuration Summary screen. To configure, touch the Calibration Wizard box at the bottom of the screen and touch the check mark. At this point, the node will power down and the screen may switch to the next mode in the system, depending on your machine configuration. Once the node powers back up, you will see the AIM Command Flex icon on the left-hand side of the screen. Select that icon to continue the process. The machine boom configuration must now be selected. For this video, we're using a Demo 6 nozzle stand, but please select the current boom for your machine. Custom boom configurations can also be entered if desired. Once the correct boom has been selected, touch the arrow pointing to the right to continue. The system will determine the number of nozzle control valves, or NCVs, that are installed on the machine. If the numbers shown are correct, touch the arrow pointing to the right. If not, retry or skip nozzle setup can be selected. However, choosing skip nozzle setup will cause the system to operate in bypass mode only. On this screen, both the NCV and bypass tip sizes will be entered. Once a box is checked, if the desired nozzle is not shown, touch the list and drag up or down to see the entire list of nozzle sizes. Once both tip sizes are selected, touch the arrow pointing to the right. Press the arrow again to allow the system to auto-index the NCVs on the boom, starting on the left and then indexing on the right. Select if fence row nozzles are installed and touch the arrow pointing to the right. The boom offset will always be a negative number. This field may auto-populate, but it is a good practice to measure your machine. This measurement is from the rear axle to the boom. If unsure, touch the question mark on this page for more information. If this number is not correct, it will cause skip and overlap issues. Once measured and entered, touch the arrow pointing to the right. The flow meter cal number is found on a tag connected to the flow meter cable. The flow meter is located on the right hand side of the machine next to the battery box. Enter this number as it appears on the tag and touch the arrow pointing to the right, thereby finishing calibration of AIM Command Flex. The last step to completing the configuration process is to add the boom created in the VT area to the machine profile. Touch the machine on the left side of the screen 
you should notice the boom is red, indicating that it has not been configured properly. Select the pencil and paper to edit the selection. Touch the garage icon near the middle of the screen, and with the machine highlighted in blue, touch the edit icon once more. Proceed to the last tab and touch the blue box containing the plus sign. The boom created in the VT area will now be added to the machine profile and should appear as it does here. Touch the green arrow several times and return to the VT area. You're now ready to test the system and ensure the configuration process was done correctly. We hope this video has helped you understand how to use your new Patriot Sprayer equipped with AIM Command Flex from Case IH. Don't forget to check out our other videos covering a wide range of setup and operation topics to learn more about making AIM Command Flex work for you.